five clean. pictures the of the Axiom well, 4 crew moving into ISS. aboard the International into Space ISS. Station, anxious and excited to welcome Axiom Mission 4 with Commander Peggy Whitson, Pilot Shubanshu Shukla, Mission Specialist Swavosh Uznansky Vishnievsky, and the Mission Specialist Tibor Kapu aboard the orbiting laboratory. And there you see the first pictures of the Axiom 4 crew that is actually making its way inside the International Space Station after successful docking that uh, the Dragon spacecraft witnessed. It primarily happened in two phases. This is Mission Control These Houston. These moments that are very, us, very you crucial. You are following along with live coverage of the docking and soon to be hatch opening and a welcome remarks of Axiom Mission 4 to the International Space Station. The mission began with the launch off of Launch Complex 39A and NASA's Kennedy Space Center yesterday morning at 1.31 a.m. Central, 2.31 a.m. Eastern. That took them on a journey that was a little more than a day to get them to the orbiting lab. They have since docked, and contact was at 5.31 a.m. Central time. And after the connections made, the hooks driving to form the hard mate, umbilicals with power and communications connections all run. Now it is those hatch opening procedures and leak checks that the crew is currently working through aboard the International Space Station while the crew aboard the on two for step three dot two, seeing about zero for the DBTT, looking for your go to continue. We see the same, you're good to proceed. And continued communications as Nicole Ayers once again floating into that pressurized mating adapter and continuing those hatch opening procedures to welcome Axiom at Mission 4. The uh, target welcoming remark ceremony time, 8.35 a.m. Central. So a little more than uh, two hours from now as lead checks and pressurization checks continue on before the APAS hatch and the vestibule and all procedures can be completed. And a great view of some of those procedures is Nicole Ayers again. You can see her with that right hand turning the crank and working on that hatch to continue those procedures. To my colleague Akshita, as she explains to us how the crew now moves in Akshita. What you see on your Dragon, screens right now. Dragon Station, uh, this is Houston on Nicole the big loop Ayers. for com checks. Uh, pilot. She is part of uh, a SpaceX mission, so she's been docked at the ISS for the last few weeks. She's just conducting those final checks. Uh, the square-like area, which is, looks like a hatch to you, that is the door from the International Space Station. So this is the view you're getting from the ISS. She's just doing the final checks right deep in there, and when she emerges, you'll be able to see very clearly the Dragon's Hatch. That still remains closed right now. They're still doing the final checks and procedures before that hatch is opened up, and the astronauts, including group Group Captain Shukla are actually allowed into the International Space Station. You're also hearing the communication clearly from Base Command to Nikola Ayers and also uh, this is something the Dragon crew can also hear. So they're constantly getting those updates of how long it's going to take for the hatch to be opened up. The primary objective here of doing this slowly uh, and they call it an umbilical which is representing an umbilical cord, of course, the way it's connected. The entire power system of the Dragon capsule has been synced with the International Space Station. So the uh, Dragon capsule now is being powered completely by the ISS. Uh, but for you to be able to open the cabin, the 
primary and most important step is to ensure uh, the stabilization of pressure, that it's identical to the uh, ISS. So that's something that they are working on right now. But you can see now very clearly next to Nicole Ayers, the astronaut there in the ISS. She's got her gloves on. She's getting set, it looks like, to open up the hatch as well. But uh, the do docking itself happened about an hour ago. So you understand the elaborate processes involved in this kind of uh, 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 even opening up the hatch once the docking is done. Inside Dragon have been going through those procedures and making sure everything is as it needs to be, including the proper leak checks and stowage from both perspectives before continuing on with hatch opening procedures and welcoming remarks. We'll continue to provide updates and you'll hear calls on the big loop of all four parties, NASA's Mission Control and the International Space Station Flight Control Room, SpaceX in Hawthorne, California, and the teams and the Expedition 73 crew aboard the International Space Station and Axiom Mission 4 aboard the Dragon and Grace Dragon, Houston spacecraft. on the big loop. Stand by for hardline audio config. Dragon copies. Also a part of these procedures, and once hatch opening continues to move along, the crews will install IMV ducting to help mix the air of the space station environment with the air inside of Dragon and seal up some of those lithium hydroxide cartridges that scrub the carbon dioxide inside of the Dragon spacecraft. And that was on their ride to the International Space Station. They'll also check some vent valves as we go. And maybe need a little bit more time on board, but these last final checks are crucial to make sure everything is good to go since it will remain docked to the International Space Station for nearly two weeks. All right, I also have my colleague Shibu joining us uh, as we stay with these pictures. Crucial moment there, Shibu, and uh, critical checks that are underway, especially the big loop, that is the communication channel used by NASA. Uh, exactly what is happening when it comes to checking the pressure, checking that uh, as they cross on, it is all conducive to be able to take the crew inside. Take us through what's happening. Uh, so at the moment what we are seeing is that the, the hatch on the International Space Station and the uh, Dragon spacecraft are being pressurized with oxygen, with air, uh, because uh, the, 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 the hatch on the International Space Station was exposed to the vacuum when the docking was happening. Now that the docking has completed, they are going to stabilize the pressure, they are going to uh, flow air into it, oxygen is required. So once that uh, stabilization is achieved, the communications are achieved, the, both the sides of the hatches will be open. Now we see that uh, the, the hatch on the side of the International Space Station has been open. We are awaiting for the opening of the hatch on the Dragon spacecraft. Now we know that the four astronauts have completed over 28 hour long journey uh, when once they launched from Florida on Wednesday at 12.01 12 p.m. yesterday. Uh, it's been 28 hour long journey. Uh, they have been maneuvering the spacecraft slowly and gradually to the International Space Station. We did see in the earlier live stream that the space station, uh, the Dragon spacecraft was initially underneath the space station. It had to fly on top of it to finally dock to the Harmony uh, port on the space station. Now that the docking is complete, all eyes are now on opening of the hatch on both sides on the space station and on the Dragon spacecraft. Once the pressure is stabilized, once the airflow is uh, achieved, the, uh, the, 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 the Dragon hatch will be opened. Now at the moment, the astronauts, the four Axiom crew astronauts with India, Shubhanshu Shukla, are removing their spacesuits. They are preparing for entering and stepping inside the space station for the first time. Oh yes, absolutely. Continue talking to us, Shibu, uh, especially to break down the technical terms for our viewers. Big Loop, for example, we hear is uh, what is underway. What does it mean? 
Yeah. How are the communication checks uh, and the communication primarily happening Greg, with the big group? Network that NASA uses to communicate with the International Space Station. It's a communication network that goes on with satellites. Uh, it's, it's a complete grid uh, that, that is made by satellites uh, to have a coordination between the space station and NASA. Now we know that there currently there are seven uh, astronauts living aboard the International Space Station. With the four other astronauts now entering, it will be a total of 11 astronauts. That requires a lot of coordination. Uh, the, the astronauts are from multiple countries, from yeah. multiple organizations. We have astronauts from NASA, we have astronauts from Japanese Space Agency, we have astronauts from the, uh, from the Russian Space Agency, Roscosmos, and now with the four other astronauts coming, we have astronauts from the Indian Space Research Organization, uh, we have astronauts from uh, uh, Hungary and Poland who represent the European Space Agency. So to establish a coordination, to have a smooth communication with all these organizations, the big loop is used. The big loop eventually is a communication network between the International Space Station and uh, the NASA, the Mission Control and the SpaceX Mission Control. Oh yes, and uh, what about the next steps really? Because we understand that this entire process uh, all in all takes about two hours. Uh, continue to work through all right, let's listen in to and again targeting this audio. Approximately 8.35 a.m. Central Time for welcoming remarks as the International Space Station and Expedition 73 crew bring in and welcome aboard Axiom at Mission 4. Both the orbiting laboratory and the newly docked SpaceX Dragon spacecraft over the northern Pacific Ocean, about to cross into the west coast of North America, right along the U.S.-Canadian border. And also around that time, we will start seeing an orbital daytime period as Dragon and the International Space Station have been orbiting in a nighttime phasing. 